Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to the new video. Yo, so we all know July 1st, save the calendar date. We got LeBron James making his decision on whether he's gonna stay in Cleveland or go elsewhere. Is he gonna stay in the East, stay or go to the West? We don't know, but we're gonna find out July 1st. I'm so pumped. It's gonna be, oh, phone's going off, let me mute that. I don't know, I mean, he has nothing else left to do in Cleveland. He brought them a championship like he said he would. Hey, shh. Uh, he, he brought the championship to Cleveland. He doesn't, he doesn't have anything else to prove in Cleveland. He can go, he can leave. He needs to go to LA. He can go to LA. My dog is going crazy right now. Tone it down, I'm shooting a video. Um, he can go to LA. Sixers are looking at him. He'd be good with the Spurs with like Kawhi Leonard. Um, he would look good with um, maybe the Clippers, I don't know. Hey. So, we're gonna go ahead and do a simulation. Um, let me show you my roster real quick. This is what, what would happen. This is a, uh, a season simulation. Um, if, if LeBron, Kawhi Leonard, and Paul George signed with LA. Um, as they broke it down on ESPN saying that the Lakers don't actually have any cap room at the moment, but once they start cutting players and trading people, then they'll they'll have a uh, space for two max deals. So, Lily, you gotta stop. So, check this out. Let's take a look at this roster. In order to be able to do this, it's gonna take so much risk. But in order to get LeBron, Kawhi Leonard, and Paul George, uh, we basically lost all of our team. So the only players we have left are uh, Alonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, Zubats. And that's it. Um, so we traded, let's see, let's see how we broke this down. First of all, um, let's see. First we had to trade Randall. We had to, actually, this is kind of weird. I'm in 2018 right now, but he still had, uh, I don't know how this game went. But anyways, so Randall's on the Spurs now. So we couldn't, we couldn't re-sign Randall. Um, let's see, what else? Who else? And then we had to give up Kylie Kuzma from Flint. And he went to, where'd he go? So Kyle Kuzma is now with um, the Cavs. So I mean, that's a that's a pretty decent team. But without LeBron, though, they're, they may be barely, they might make the playoffs, maybe. But I don't know, Kyle Kuzma in a Cavs jersey, it's pretty cool, it's a good fit for him. Um, so yeah, we, we had to give up Kuzma uh, to get, to get uh, LeBron, Kawhi Leonard. We had to lose, uh, we, we got rid of uh, the worst contract in the NBA, Luol Dang. He was making, I don't even know how much he was making, but he wasn't even playing for that much money. We had to get rid of him. Um, I was able to trade him. I don't know where the hell he went though. I don't, I don't know if he got traded again. I don't know. But I got rid of Luol Dang. <laughs> in real life, I don't think any teams will really want Luol Dang unless there's a big package deal with it, with our core. So Lonzo, we might have to give up Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, Josh Hart, along with Luol Dang, because he's not good. He doesn't even play. Um, so yeah, we had to give up Isaiah Thomas. I don't know where he went either. I can't find him. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we have Zubots. We had to get rid of, uh, obviously we had to get rid of Brooke Lopez, Travis Ware, Andre Ingram, the GOAT. We had to get rid of all of those guys. We don't have really anyone. I mean, our bench is not good. But you look at this lineup, it's cold. Lonzo, Josh Hart, Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, and Zubats. Paul, uh, actually, our backup's not terrible because we have Paul George and Brandon Ingram at the backup. So, I mean, that's going to really help in the backup, but, I mean, that lineup is crazy. Honestly, in my opinion, I think we should start um, Ingram at center. I don't know, that's some small ball, but you guys might hate on me for that, but I think I'm gonna change Ingram to center. 
this set of Zubats. So let's go ahead and uh, let's sim a few games. All of these games are glitched. Here we go. 2K is doing some fucker right now. All right, so let's check this out. Against the Wolves, we actually took the L though. But LeBron, 29. 5-4, Paul George, 24 points, stepping up off the bench, 24 and 25 minutes. Kawhi Leonard, 15 points, Zubats, three steals actually too, Brandon Ingram. Okay, Lonzo with five points, seven rebounds, five assists. One for six, hey. <laughs> against the Celtics, we lost against the Celtics. Gordon Hayward, Kyrie. LeBron, 22, 6, 7, 18, Paul George. Okay. Brandon Inger needs to step up. 1 for 7. God dang. Okay. Alright. We're going to go ahead and send to the end of the season. Alright, we are at the end of the season. Curry with the MVP. Elton McKinnis, Rookie of the Year. Jordan Bell, 6 man. Rudy Gobert, Defensive. Most Improved. Brad Stevens. All right. LeBron was the only first team for the Lakers. Second team. Lakers didn't even get a second team or a freaking third team. I call bullshit. No defensive first teams. No second. God dang! What happened to the Lakers? Okay, so they finished with a 49 and 33 season record. Yikes. That's not good coming from what the Lakers won out of them. Minnesota finished first seed. Spurs. Yeah, they got Randall, so he stepped up. He finished fifth in the West. Above Golden State, though. Let's take a look at their roster. Let's get a roster update. LeBron. Oh, Josh is injured. Broken nose right before the playoffs. That ain't good. But look at this. This is like the Miami, like 2011 Miami Heat all over again. They got, they really have a big five though. A big five and then the rest of the team is just nothing. Nothing. Look, they have a 55 overall. Bill Quinn from Georgia. Undraft. Alright, let's go ahead and take, before we jump into the, the playoff games, let's go ahead and get a uh, season stats on these players. Alright, so LeBron finished with 22 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists, steal and a half, a block. Paul George, 19, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. Kawhi Leonard, 2 steals, 1 block, 18, 19 points. Lonzo, 10. Ingram, 10. Ingram and Ball, though, they didn't really... They didn't have the best seasons. Almost six rebounds, seven and a half assists. All right. Damn. All right, well... They just... They're not even a powerhouse, so let's see what happens. Here we go. First matchup against OKC. All right, they took game one. Game one, Paul George stepping up, 27 points off the bench. Dang, he is balling off the bench. Five for nine from deep. Brandon Ingram stepping up. Kawhi, James. LeBron is getting old now. He doesn't really have to, he can just, with all this help, he can just kind of ride the back seat a little bit. He doesn't have to take over like he had to do in Cleveland. Lonzo. And then the bench is just, ooh, almost invisible. All right, game two. Oh, they lost game two. Carmelo Anthony. Oh, they don't, okay, I was about to say, they still have Westbrook. Brandon Ingram, 10 points. 
this. Alright. I don't know if this is a championship team or not, but we're gonna find out. They lost game four. Paul George, he, oh my god, Paul George has been the setting stone here. Kawhi, 21 for Kawhi. LeBron, I want to see more out of LeBron. Yeah, he's not doing good these playoffs compared to his season stats. All right. All right, Lakers take game three. You're going back and forth here. Westbrook. <laughs> I guess their former teammate, Paul George. Oh, and he is giving them the whip. He is going crazy. Seven for 11. Jeez. Come on, Lonzo, step up. All right, elimination right here. All right, okay. They at least got past the first round, thank God. Kawhi Leonard with 31 points. Paul George, oh my, dude. Lonzo, 14, 6, 9. Ingram, 13. LeBron, LeBron is invisible. What is going on? Memphis Grizzlies are in the second round. Should be a dub. All right, game one. Tied up. There you go, LeBron. Josh Hart stepping up. Paul George. 14 assists. Game three. Double double. Near triple double for LeBron. Grizzlies got eliminated. Dang, okay, so they didn't do that good in the season, but they're doing so far so good in the playoffs. The Nuggets. What? Okay, check this out. The Nuggets are a seventh seed. They beat off Spurs. They beat off. <laughs> I came out wrong. They beat the Spurs, <laughs> and then they beat Golden State. The second and sixth seed. Who the heck is on the Nuggets? the Nuggets have because that is just madness Jokic Paul Millsap Gary Harris they don't have this they have like the same team as they do in life nothing special jeez and they beat the Spurs check it out the Cavs they didn't even make it past the first round All right, a fifth seed in the conference finals. We're playing. De we better not lose to Denver. Better not lose to Denver. Oh, LeBron, twenty-two. LeBron, or Paul George has been a killer off the bench. And the Lakers are in the finals as a fifth seed. All right, this is this was expected against the Bucks. Who is on the Bucks? Antoine Cooper, Parker, Milton. Okay, they have the same team. Bondmaker, Delhi. Yep, they got the same team. Nothing new for them, not like the Lakers. All right, here we go. Oh, they took game one. All right, we tied it up. Yeah, they had that home court advantage. Because our season was not very good. 27 points, 26, 12, near triple double. Zubot stepping up. Dude, oh, this is gonna be tough. The Greek freak. Kawhi. Dang, this is 
going down the wire. This is the finals right here. Oh, they got it. Game, game five. All right, this is in Milwaukee. 115 to 98. They're gonna take the title right here in Milwaukee. They did it. LeBron, uh, almost and one. King James. It's so weird seeing LeBron in a Lakers uniform. It's just a weird sighting. I was gonna be really upset if the Lakers lost to this Milwaukee team. I mean, this is a good team, but think about who the Lakers have. They're stacked. LeBron with the bear hug. See, the thing about, I'm totally cool if like LeBron comes to LA. Um, if he comes with Paul George, like I'm fine with that. I think most Laker fans are. But the one thing that I'm really afraid of is if, ooh, the Greek freak with the poster. The one thing I'm afraid of is um, LeBron like overshadowing like our other players. Like, I don't want it to be another Cleveland situation where LeBron is literally like the team, um, which I don't I don't think it will happen with LA, uh, but LeBron tends to like, I mean he he's known to make other players better obviously, but yeah, people almost like forget about other players just because it's like LeBron. It's always been LeBron. Like whatever team he's on, it's his team. I don't want. Oh, I don't want another poster, okay. I don't want our team to suffer just because LeBron is like, you know, the, the number one priority, I guess you'd say. But that is it. The Lakers got the championship. Look at that. They went from like a 10th or 11th seed to the finals and the championship. Kawhi Leonard, Lonzo Ball. Did it in Milwaukee, that's embarrassing. Yo, th this, this, the chance of this happening is like so low, but imagine Lonzo <laughs> making the playoffs and winning a ring in his second season. That's insane. That is crazy. Look at that. Ugh. Crazy. Of course, we got LeBron James, the Finals MVP. 22 points, nine assists, eight rebounds, stealing a block. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Just wanna make a video on the whole Lakers free agency buzz. It's been going crazy right now. Like I said, July 1st, we're gonna be waiting for LeBron to come out and say whether or not he's gonna stay in Cleveland. Um, so that being said. That is the end. Hopefully we can hopefully the Lakers will get either Paul George or LeBron. But I don't care. I'd rather not get any max deals, max players, and uh, re-sign Julius Randle. That should be our number one priority. So hopefully Magic will work his magic and make that happen. Until next time, peace.